Two weeks ago, tomorrow it was done. It's been an age. I sold myself for six tablespoons, a pair of sugar tongs, a small milk pot, and a small variety of second-hand furniture, and 20 pounds cash. I went cheap. Dirt cheap. Cheap? Cheap? You were dear at any price, and dear enough I paid for you, Lord above know that. <clears throat> you gonna sit there snoring all day? I will sit here as long as I see fit, and although I was not snoring, I will yawn, gape, burp, sneeze, and snore as the humour strikes me, so being my prerogative. Your prerogative? I said the word, madam. The prerogative of a man is to command. And what's the prerogative of a woman in the name of goodness? To obey. Your late unfortunate husband should have taught you that, and perhaps he would be here today. Poor fellow, I wish he was. Oh, you hard-hearted brute! Run <laughs> away, madam. It opens the lungs, exercises the eyes, and uh, softens the temper. My dear, it's just you're so very violent. Rich family. The boy's name? They called him. Yes. Oliver. Oliver Twist. We must retrieve that boy, Mr. Bumble. Indeed we must, Mum. Indeed we must. <laughs> Oliver, Oliver. That was the mice with the large appetite. Oliver. Oliver. Oliver, apparently he's from a rich family. And to think we nearly stupidly went and lost track of him. If we'd known the truth, we'd both be glad at seeing the back of him. Oliver, Oliver, Oliver what will we do? We must give him his due. And, and we'll praise, praise the, the day, day somebody gave us Oliver. Understand you bring some information regarding the boy Oliver Twist. I came in answer to your advertisement. Bumble is my name, sir. Beadle of the workhouse where the boy was cared for, from which he was apprenticed to an undertaker. From which he ran away. Yes, yes, and do you know where the boy is now? Not no more than nobody, sir. Well, well, what do you know of him? This little trinket was given to my wife by the lad's dying mother just before she passed away. <laughs> the lad's dying mother, that is, not my wife. <laughs> Mrs. Bumble has kept it safe all this time. You said that when the boy left your workhouse, you went to an undertaker's. Yes, Mr. Sowerberry took Oliver from us for five pounds. So you mean to say you sold the boy like an animal? It was Mrs. Bumble, she did it all, she... 
Really, well, that is no excuse. For you are present in the case when the boy was still under, therefore the more gives you the two and the other law. Well, if the law supposes that, then the law is an ass. What more? The law is a bachelor. And I should hope that his eyes should be opened by experience. By experience. Mrs. Bedwin, take a look at this miniature. You see who it is? Why, it's Miss Agnes, sir. Yes, my daughter Agnes, and I have every reason to suspect that Oliver was probably her child. Sir! I couldn't stay out there much longer. If I'd have come in, like, gone away like many people would, you would have been sorry, and uh, not without reason neither. I'm sorry for not being rude to you. May, may I help you in any way? I don't know. Can she be trusted? Uh, yes, why? I am the woman that brought Oliver back to Old Faith in the morning and left his house. You? Yeah, and I wish now I'd never been part of it. The boy who mentioned you especially, and I thought, if I came to you... Where's this place you speak of, Fagans? That I can't tell you. Did you perhaps know that Oliver is probably my grandchild? I didn't know nothing. All I knew was my orders. I had to bring Oliver back or I'd suffer the consequences. You don't believe me, do you? I don't want your pity. Uh, if I'd have gone away like many people would, then I, I'd come back here and I'd, I'd have been murdered. Murdered? But where is Oliver? Where is this Fagans? I can't tell you that. I just wanted you to know that Oliver is safe. I must go now, quickly. Uh, but what can I do about all this? Why must you go back? What is the reason you can't tell me where he is? And why do you have to return to those people? I can call the Bauschi runners in a moment. And if you tell them what you just told me, uh, they will see you come to no harm. No, you don't understand. I must go back there. I want to go back there. You see, back there there's this man and I love him. You don't know what it's like to love someone like that. I understand. My dear ladies, do excuse me, but I'm anxious about Oliver. How may you help me? I won't show you where he is, but I'll bring him to you. Not here, that's too dangerous. Do you promise I won't be watched or followed? No, I promise you solemnly. Then tonight, between the hour of 11 and the time the clock strikes 12, I'll come to the Tower Bridge and I'll bring Oliver. <laughs> 